It's been so long since I had to film one of these, but uh, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Alvin MB10, aka AMR10, and what I got for you today is some NBA 2K23 Next Gen. Now, as you can tell by what's on the title, thumbnail, and on the screen for you today, the build that we have for you today happens to be the best LeBron James build in NBA 2K23 Next Gen. And when I say the best, I mean it as in it is the best current LeBron James build, because as most of us know, his play style has changed throughout these, not throughout these playoffs, but throughout his career, and right now in these playoffs, we are seeing LeBron beat people with IQ, which is a lot, you know what I'm saying, hella impressive, especially with him not having the physical capabilities he's always had. Now, before we get into this build, I do gotta say a special shout out to all of you for all the videos, you know, for all the support you've been showing to the videos. Like, I've been on holiday for like the past week, but I've been noticing we're still growing when it comes to subs, people are still watching videos, liking videos, dropping comments, telling me what they wanna see, and I really do appreciate that because it helps and goes a long way with someone like me. But I also do gotta say, if you enjoy today's content and you wanna see more content like this, most specifically a Jason Tatum build, go ahead and hit that like button down below. If we get 50 likes, I will post the video. Either way, I'll post it, but hey, let's try and get 50 likes. If you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turning post notices on because ladies and gentlemen, we are so close to 1,900 that yeah, I can really taste it. And lastly but not least, don't forget, if you have a comment on what you think we could improve on this build, anything you change on this build, do me a favor, go and drop that down below in the comments. And most importantly of all, don't forget to drop a comment telling me any other builds you want to see. We will mainly be focusing around the guys in the playoffs because, yeah, they finna turn up for these series. Now, as most of you know, LeBron James is the starting small forward, sometimes power forward, right-handed jersey number six for the Los Angeles Lakers. Height-wise, he comes in at about six foot nine whilst weighing 250 pounds, which is about 113 kgs which is the max you can get on a small forward build, which is hella impressive for how athletic he is. And then wingspan wise, apparently he measures in at about seven feet. I believe it's about seven foot one, but hey, as far as I can see with Google metrics, seven feet. Body shape, of course, we all know LeBron comes out as defined because yeah, this is the one athlete who takes such extreme care of his body in the league. LeBron spends millions each year just to take care of it. So hey, as you can see, this is what it does allow us on the attribute side of things. It's heavy leaning towards being physically capable when it comes to defense and of course finishing at the rim whilst having a little bit of ability to play make. Now again, straight into the build, let's start off with the physicals. I decided to go with a 75 on the speed as well as a 70 on the excel because yeah, LeBron James, as I said, he's losing a step which is why we're seeing a lot more IQ plays than usual, but he's still one of the best players in the league. Uh, strength wise, I decided to give him an 82 because at the bare minimum, I wanted to be able to get Silver Bully on this build because yeah, if you've watched him play, he's using a lot of that to get at the hoop. And then of course, vertically, any LeBron James build, you gotta give it a really good vertical rating. I went with an 82 originally, but I lowered it down to an 80 because of what I wanted to do when it came to the rebounding stats. And then stamina wise, I decided to give this build a 90 on the stamina because you will be using it quite a lot because this is the most versatile small forward build in the game. Now, let's focus on, let's start off with finishing. Finishing is something that I think we can start off with. So driving dunk wise, as you can guess, went with an 86 rather than a 92 because, it, sorry, 87 rather than a 92, mainly for the extra badge point. We would have gone with an 86 to get that gold limitless take as well as all pro contact dunks. But key thinking here, LeBron is still getting a lot of contacts. LeBron is still rising over people, but he's not doing it the great. He used to whereby he was out here just getting some of the most, I will say it this way. If you've never seen LeBron James dunk over John Lucas III, go see that and I'll show you peak athletic LeBron James, ironically wearing a Miami Heat jersey. Miami's bringing it all home, but yeah. So because of that lack of loss of a step, we decided to go to an 87 on the driving dunk. When it comes to the standing dunk, we decided to put this up to a 68. This was due to the us having extra attribute points as well as wanting to get an extra badge point. And then of course on the driving layup, one with an 80 because we did manage to get Silver Bully, but we also want to get Hall of Fame Giants Slayer because you might find yourself driving into the paint against what might be centers. And then of course, you can also get the capabilities with it being a small forward of getting Silver Slithery as one of your tier one badges at only two badge points. Close shot, decided to put this also up to a 76, which allows us to get a grand total of 18 total badge points on this build. And then of course, force control, I lowered this down because this only came up because of what I had messed with when it came to the driving dunk. Now, if you're me, I would personally try and core bully and put posterizer on this build. And then from there, it's a whole thing of how you wanna mess with it. I would go with the combination of Hall of Fame Giant Slayer and, not Hall of Fame, I'd probably run Silver Giant Slayer just because of how you're six foot nine, Silver Slithery. And then of course, I'd probably run Aerial Wizard because yeah, you wanna rise up against people. Now, shooting wise, looking at LeBron's stats, he is averaging about 22.2 points per game in the playoffs. However, he's shooting about 25% from three. So we decided to, while well, shooting about 49 from field, so we decided to give him a decent rating of an 84 when it came to the mid-range jump shot, which allows the capabilities of getting gold blinders. However, when it came to the three, only went with a 76 because yeah, 
personally speaking, it should be lower towards like a 73 range, but we went with a 76 because we wanted the ability of getting that gold claymore because in my personal opinion, LeBron James does knock down a few jump shots when they really do matter, in which case with how 2K plays, you do need to at least have gold claymore. And then on the free throw side of things, gave it a 78 because I do know you will be taking this build into the rec and the pro am, in which case you want to be able to knock down your free throws. Now, as you can see, this doesn't, this means that you can't get anything higher than bronze dead eye and limitless range which makes a whole lot of sense as well as agent threes because again this is not a sharpshooter build lebron is not a sharpshooter this year we are seeing a lot more iq now if you're me obviously core blinders i would getting catch and shoot and silver is a bit of a risky one just because you're not really that much of a three-point sniper however i wouldn't mess around with a lot of the midi to you know what i'm saying three-point badges the tier ones and tier twos mainly being claymore midi magician space creator and guard up those are the key one key four badges i'll go for when it comes to tier one and tier two then from there it's your choice of what you really want to do with the remaining badge points now playmaking wise lebron is averaging about 5.3 assists per game so we really want to emphasize this by firstly giving him an 82 when it comes to the pass accuracy because this does allow us to get that gold dimer as well as an extra badge point and 83 when it comes to speed with ball just because, not speed with ball sorry ball handle because we wanted the ability of getting that extra badge point as well as getting gold hyperdrive which is a tier one badge meaning we can get it for three which is elite and then of course on the speed with ball side of things decided to max this out at a 71 which allows us to get 20 total playmaking badge points now again my personal opinion i would core i'd core unpluckable i'd core unpluckable just for the hell of it and then from there, I'd go quick first step, hyperdrive, dimer, of course, floor general, bailout, needle threader. Just because, again, with the LeBron James build, yeah, you want to get by people and get at the rim, but that's where you use your physicality of how strong you are. Outside of that, when it comes to playmaking, your main emphasis is creating space and getting people open looks. Now, defensively, the build is outstanding because first things first comes with a 67 on the interior defense, meaning that it does have the ability to guard up in the paint with that nice little combination of bronze interior lockdown. And then on the perimeter defense side of things, decided to put this up to a 78, mainly because LeBron, even though he plays nicely on the perimeter, he's not known as one of the ultimate lockdown forwards right now. Like back in the day, he used to be one of the best two-way players in the league. But right now, he's still in the top 20 when it comes to it, but he's not the best at it. Then when it came to the steal, decided to give him a 78 because at the very least, you want to get that silver interceptor whilst he's averaging 0.9 steals per game. And then on the block side of things, you always got to get at least gold chased on artists on any LeBron James build because the badge is basically made for him. Plus, in that Memphis, <laughs> when he was playing Memphis, we saw it a lot where he was pinning shots off the board and we saw it a few times in the Golden State series. And then on the rebounding side of things, he does average 10 rebounds in the playoffs. However, if you look precisely, he averages about 1.3 offensive and 8.7 defensive. So we decided to give him a split of a 76 when it comes to the offensive rebound, which means you're not a slouch and are able to grab the majority of the boards as well as giving us that extra bash point. And then on the defensive rebound side of things, we decided to push it all the way to a 92 because this does mean that we get the capabilities of getting gold pogo stick as well as silver rebound chaser. Now, if you really wanted to, you could tweak this build a little bit to help you out. You could lower the, I, actually, I'm going to leave that to you guys to figure out how to do it. But you could lower a few things here and there and move this up to a 93, which allowed you to get gold rebound chaser. But then again, it becomes a thing of, are you really going to use all those badge points for tier three, whereby you have to core pogo stick and then spend seven on gold rebound chaser. But that's up to you and your personal play style. Now, as you can see, this happens to be one of the most versatile builds in the game because we got a nice split of 18, 20, 20, 24, which gives us a grand total of 82 total badge points on this LeBron James build, including the plus where you get from my career that puts you up at 86 and then obviously the plus five i think you would have gotten from completing all previous seasons put you at about 91 total badge points and the ability to switch course however you want to really makes this build one of the best builds in the game now when it comes to takeovers the very first one i would personally go with is finishing moves because as it says helps you absorb and finish through contact mountain layups dunks and alley-oops basically lebron and then for the secondary take currently with how he's playing i would go something along the lines of see the future because as it says shows you where missed shots will land ahead of time giving you the upper hand and chasing down boards and with the man averaging a double double you gotta pay respect to that now the players we do manage to get in the shades of for this build happen to be none other than xavier mcdaniels scotty barnes lebron james ironically never watched xavier mcdaniels i am not that old Scotty Barnes, I've seen him play since he's been drafted. LeBron James, I've seen him play since about 2005. So, yeah. The name of the build is an inside the arts score. Makes a whole lot of sense because, as I said, we did go kind of low with the 76 on the three ball. And we did go kind of high with some of the finishing capabilities. But, as you know, it is more than just that because it is a two-way build and how it has the ability to lock up defensively as well as crash the glass. And then, obviously, the ability to play make when it comes to getting over teammates. Now, 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, which if you did, don't forget to do me a favor, go and hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turning post notice on. And lastly, but not least, don't forget to drop a comment down below telling me what other builds you want to see, as well as any other possible videos you want to see on the channel. Anyway, it's been your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10. I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.